Hey guys, over in YouTube land, if you have a first gen Prius and you're looking to buy a catalytic converter because of a cat crime, because of this, for example, this one has been cut. What's pretty common nowadays, people are cutting the cats off of these Priuses. Uh, this has been sliced back here with a sawzall and uh, they can be cut or unbolted up there. And there's two juicy catalytic converters that people like to steal for money. They also take your rear O2 sensor, which is a real bummer. It's like theft is for pathetic people. I'm not a fan of thieves. Anyways, customer brought this car in. They brought a catalytic converter. Uh, they got for a really reasonable price online. It's a lot cheaper than the OEM one, but there is a problem. It will not work. Let me show you why. Okay, let me start with the overview. This is uh, one of those cats that you see maybe for $150, $250 on eBay or Amazon or wherever. Looks nice, probably works good if you can install it. Here are the problems that we run into. The catalytic converter is designed for you to cut the rear and use this U-bolt to clamp down onto the back. Problem is, see, zero this out. Problem is, this will not fit. You're not going to slide this pipe over the existing pipe and clamp it down. You're going to have to weld it. So that's a problem. Not a big deal, right? You can go to a welfare shop and have them welded on. But you go up to the front. This is the problem. So I already tried to be the good guy and save save these guys. Is it this had really big welds, you know, kind of sloppy welds like this down here. But they were protruding, they burned through the pipe. No big deal, right? So I just uh, grind it down a little bit, it'll be good to go, right? Wrong. So here's the original factory one. It looks it looks like it's gonna contact most of the gasket surface. This one, not so much. See the shape is totally different. The factory gasket works like this. And the aftermarket gasket. It's kind of got a, a curve to it. And it sits right in here nice and snug. And seals all the way around, 360. Full, complete seal. It's very happy. But these fools thought they would take it one step or two steps backward and uh, make a flange that would seal but be a lot cheaper. But they welded it in four spots and makes it uh, not possible to seal anymore. You see right here, there's daylight and you can see my finger down there. This will never seal, ever, ever, ever. I want to describe to you kind of the shape, uh, since it's not exactly going to show up on the camera, but the shape of this flange is more, more like, a, it's got four flat spots. It's got a, it's round, flat, round, flat, round, flat. So. The gasket will not seal. If I clamp it down all the way, you can see where the weld spots, they're right on the ceiling surface. So I can see, you can see, uh, you can see the reflection. That's definitely not gonna seal, no matter how hard you clamp it down. This piece is also designed to swivel. So it's just gonna be a big, big mess. So, just don't waste your money on this kit. Oh, look at that. See the edge? Look 
goes down. Yeah, just don't waste your money on this. I'm gonna have to cut and weld the back, mount it on, and possibly put a flange on there. And the front, I'm gonna have to cut this off and mount this guy up inside here so it actually fits properly. So, whoever you are that designed this catalytic converter and manufactures it, you're going to have to fix this problem because no one's going to be able to put this on in their car the way it is. I'm sure it's got decent catalytic converters and fixes the code, but 420 code, but you know what? You can't even put this thing on the car without cutting off the front and the back using a factory flange. You know, it's just not right. So I hope this video will help save you from buying a piece of crap catalytic converter. I know you are a victim of a hate crime from the haters who steal cats, but you're just gonna have to man up and get a get the real deal or get it done right. I know you wanna save some money, but this is not the way to do it. Get an OEM cat. Get a Magnaflow cat, get something, but just make sure the flange does not look like this, okay? And the pipe, if you want to bolt it on in your garage. All right, guys, have a nice day. Leave some comments. Tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you feel about people stealing catalytic converters for profit. Uh, how do you think we should stop it? And... Um, yeah, show me some links on, on catalytic converters and I'll let you know if, if I think it's a good one or not for you to bolt on. Anyways, have a nice day, guys. And uh, happy motoring with your tree-hugging mobile. Peace out. Oh, by the way, please, if you drive a Prius, go at least 10 over in the fast lane. That would be nice. Otherwise, move over. <laughs>